Hey guys, what's up and welcome back. So today is the tutorial on my Harley Quinn Suicide Squad jacket and I'm coming to you with half of the jacket done because I'm going to be finishing up the rest of it tonight off of camera. However, in this video I show you how I do pretty much the basic parts of the jacket. The back part of it, the embroidery and everything is going to be in a separate video. If you have any questions about the fabrics and or the pattern, I will link the fabric video right here and I will link it down below in the description box and I'll just put the pattern name right here and also down below in the description box. With that being said though, um, it came out pretty darn snazzy this far. I still have to add the gold trimming, which I will show you guys how I do that on the other side so you guys can see. Um, I'm not sure if I want to sew it on yet or if I just want to kind of glue it on. I'm not too sure. And look at this, guys. I made a pocket. Woo, woo, woo. It's a pocket. Um, that was really exciting. I was really excited about doing this. So, uh... Before I start this, I really hope that this helps anyone out here who wants to do this cosplay, wants to have their own jacket, or maybe you just want a really cool jacket, I don't know. But with that being said, I'm going to stop talking and let's just get on into the video. And uh, let me know what you guys think, give it a thumbs up, and feel free, like I said, to ask me any questions in the comments down below. I will see you guys in a little bit. And um... Alright guys, so I just wanted to let you know that this is going to be a mix of photos and video clips. I didn't completely film myself doing this because that would have been really long and complicated and um, I got confused so much that it just made sense for me to take a lot more photos and video clips, but that's what this video is going to be a mix of and um, I just wanted to give you a heads up with that. And right here, you can just see it is the patterns before I cut everything out. I use numbers 1 through 11. I didn't need 12 because 12 was for um, like a pooch pocket type pocket type of thing and so I didn't need that so yeah that's that Um, this is how I trace them on to my fabric I used uh, Taylor's chalk I believe it's what it's called and I trace them and then um, all the little notches that you see there are following the notches that are on the pattern pieces and that makes it so that's easier to match up the pieces and make sure that everything fits well and I would highly recommend this um, I used to not do it before but I did with this one and it made a world of difference and it made everything so much easier and I copy it to the back of the pattern as well so um, yeah there is that Alright, um, this is just the back piece and this is how I pretty much started it off. So as you can see, it's just one side. Um, I have the fabric completely laid out and um, I just traced it once on uh, the blue side and then on the red side, I flipped it over and I traced it uh, again, but with the pattern flipped over, which you will see right now. So as you can see, I did that and again, you just need to just lay out the fabric all out all together because you don't need it double sided or anything like that. And then you sew the back pieces together and then you just um, you put them on top of each other, pretty sides facing each other. So satin sides facing each other, pretty much that. And then you just pin the edges and sew them like so. Um, it. The, the pattern calls for a 5 8 seam allowance and so that's pretty much what I used and everything like that. And as you can see right there, I clipped a notch. Uh, don't do that because then it kind of makes like a little hole. If you do clip it, do a little small clip. Don't cut out like the full triangle thing. Just something I learned the hard way, but it wasn't too hard to um, fix. And now here's what the back part of the jacket looks like. So one side's blue and one side's red. I do have mine reversed though so um you would do the right side blue and the left side red and then here are the rest of the pieces of um the jacket that i have and um again i just laid the fabric out completely flat and cut out every single piece added the notches where the notches were supposed to be and then i um cut out the circle dots which i don't think you guys can see them here but then i marked little circles where the circle dots is or I marked X's where the um, dots are on the pattern pieces and then for the pocket piece I traced it again but I just flipped it over because um, you're going to need it to be opposites you're going to need two pockets but don't trace them the same side you want to flip the pattern over like you did the back part and trace another pocket 
and there's just kind of an up close look at the notches and as you see those little circles there um i put little x marks on my pattern for where those are as well and that's just again for helping to line up certain things and um again i would highly recommend it because it just makes everything so much easier and it did for me and uh yeah so uh, there's that Okay guys, so here is how this is going so far. So this is the welt part of the jacket. I think I am doing it right, I'm not too sure. The instructions are kind of confusing to me. Um, if you look down here, it says um, the right side of the fabric, it'll be the, the fabric key, it'll be gray, and the wrong side will be white. But even up here, when it tells you to turn it inside, turn it right side out, it's still white. And um, based off of this, I'm just kind of sewing based off of the pictures, and I'm just really confused. Hopefully, I can figure this out, but I'm about to sew on the pocket. So I'll just show you guys what I did. Um, I based the um, ends of it and then I sewed the raw edges together from the welt and the um, front part of the jacket and now I'm about to attach the pocket to it so um, I'll just continue with photos and videos and everything like that but just wanted to let you in on that and how I was confuzzled but hopefully this all turns out good. <laughs> Okay, so I think I may have figured it out and how it's going to look, but for right now, I am just, um, I took the pocket and the pretty sides are facing each other, so the satin sides are facing each other. And in between the two dots, which I marked here and here, I'm just going to stitch and underneath that is actually the welt right here. And um, it, it's all starting to make sense to me. Um, in a way so um, yeah, I'm gonna do that and then I will come back and show you the other side all right so those dots I mentioned earlier that is where you are going to be sewing in between those two dots and um it's like that for the pockets that way you can push the pockets through once you complete sewing everything else and everything like that and that's just how it looks and that way the pockets are only on the welt and not on anything else which makes complete sense to me but I couldn't figure it out at first but this is pretty much how it looks once it's sewn on and how it is again uh, just pretty sides facing each other and then this is the side front pocket where I did the same thing. <clears throat> and um again just pinned in between the two x's and sewed everything together and um then i lined everything up and sewed all of those items together as well okay so i have it all sewed up and um the first line was actually the original me of me sewing in between but then when i flipped it over i noticed that some of the um, baseline from the welt was still showing so i just kind of measured with my finger and then i placed the pins down there and this is what the second line is which actually happens to be a lot straighter but the second line is um just what I did so that the baseline of the welt wouldn't show and like I said this will all make sense to you guys once you actually see it because it now makes sense to me then this is the side front of the jacket and then this is the other pocket and um again you just kind of match the dots and sew along there and it says to do a 5 8 seam allowance so now what we're going to do is we are going to go ahead and sew these two ends together and then um, from there make the pockets and pretty much the first side of our jacket will be done. Alright so now that I have it pinned, I have the front pinned to the, or the front side pinned to the front. Um, pretty sides facing each other as usual. Here are the pockets and what you're going to do is leave in, um, leave this part open right here whoops let me pull that up wait so just gonna leave this part open and that is for the pockets um we're gonna end up sewing those together and um this i just held them like this and then i pinned them together that way it would stay even um just seemed like the easiest way for me because this part is curved and um just laying them flat and pinning them wouldn't work so i laid it like this and then just have this part right here to sew so I'm going to go ahead and do that and then I'm going to sew up the pockets and show you guys how that all looks. 
Okay, quick little tip and something I learned um, from my mistakes is you want to move any part of the pocket away as you sew the side front and the front sides together. Um, I just it was just mostly the bottom part of the pocket that I got caught up in it. So um, just kind of move that out of the way and then pin the side front and the front bottom part together and you'll be good to go. And again, leave the little hole in the middle so that you can slide the pocket through and then sew up your pocket and then push it through and then um, you will be pretty much good to go and then you are going to sew the um, pocket to the front so you're going to sew the bottom of the pocket to the actual front of the jacket not the side front and it's going to look something like that and that also sews down the bottom of the pocket and viola you have your awesome new pocket jacket or jacket pocket pocket jacket you have your awesome jacket pocket. Yeah, there you go. Alright, so now that the side front and your pockets or my pockets are done, we are just going to go ahead and sew that to the back part. So again, pretty sides facing each other. And then you want to line up your notches and or marks, which are right there. Let's zoom in. There we go. Which are right here. And then just pin along the end and we're going to sew that up. All right, so for the sleeve, I did the same thing as far as the pattern cutting out wise, um, but it did have something different and had a dart, which you can see those three points that make like a V or a triangle. And um, I left the pins in there. I just kind of pulled the fabric or I pulled the pattern up very gently and then I marked it with the tailor chalk as well. And you actually want to mark it on the back side of it. And essentially all you do with the dart is you fold the two sides together and then you're going to sew down the chalk line that you made and it's going to look something like this and then you're going to press along that fold that you have and then you're going to flip it over the, to the front and you're going to press that down and I didn't take a picture or video so I'm sorry about that but um it's just it helps um, with tailoring and making something look nicer but that was in the pattern so that's what I did and then here we just have the sleeve band that um you need two of those obviously for both sleeve and you're going to use some kind of stretch knit and the top and the bottom say stretch so you want that to go with the direction of the stretch of the fabric and then yeah that's pretty much all there is to that all right so for the actual sleeve you're just going to fold it in half and then i pinned the bottom together that way i knew it was even and then i took the folded half and i placed it at the bottom of the sleeve and i did this front side up and i just sewed along there and um that's how i got my armband <laughs> so as you guys can see here is the sleeve i have it sewn down and um you just kind of have to pull the fabric um as you sew it especially the blue because you want to make sure that everything gets um connected and everything gets sewn and so this is how it looks i personally don't like how long this looks so i'm going to fold it over one and um sew it down like this and that way it looks a little bit shorter and i just think it looks a lot cleaner Okay, so here's how I attach the gold trim to my already sewn on sleeve. All I did was use my little green seam ripper and I um, took out the seam for the actual arm part that closes it all together. And then I attached the gold trim and I just sewed it up like that. Uh, not too hard or anything. You just have to take out a couple um, seams here and there, but you can keep the sleeve attached as it is. And here is how I did it with the red fabric, which is how you should do it. And um, as you still, before you sew it on to the jacket, you want to just take it down the middle and kind of align it how you want it to. And then sew down both of the ends, or you could use some kind of fabric glue, whatever is of your choosing. But I decided to just go ahead and sew it down. And um, yeah, it'll pretty much work. Just super easy, not complicated at all. And then this is just me sewing it. So I didn't do anything special. I just went on both of the sides and I sewed them down. And um, yeah, there's, there wasn't a lot of glitter and it wasn't too hard to sew. And this also is a wired trimming as well or wired ribbon. So there's that. 
And here's just kind of how it looks after um, it's been sewn on and everything like that. And yes, it is. I just kind of place it on top of the dart because I feel like that's kind of more of the center of the um, sleeve and everything. And as you can see with the wire trimmed, it does kind of bend and move a little weird, but it still really works with the look and feel of the jacket. All right. So as normal, I had problems with the sleeves, but I finally figured it all out and um just kind of connects here i think this front one is supposed to be smaller than the back so uh we're just gonna kind of hope it's like that if anything i can attach fabric or something to the front but i think it's supposed to be i don't know it didn't seem right when i move when i tried to move it or anything like that and everything else fits and like i said everything else is lined up so um i'm going to go ahead and see it's lined up over here with the back um, I'm gonna go ahead and sew on the sleeve sew the sleeve close together and then try on this half and show you guys how it looks so far okay so here is the jacket I have both sides done hopefully I can take a better picture a little bit later and it'll be in the thumbnail and stuff like that but um here is how it looks thus far. I still need to add the collar, the lower band, and the zipper, and then move on to the back and do the embroidered part. But um, I just wanted this to kind of be the basic makings of the jacket. And then the second video, I will show you guys how I did the collar and the zipper and all that jazz. Um, I hope, like I said before, this was helpful. And thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to give this a thumbs up. And uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. And I will see you guys all next video. Have an awesome day. Bye.